It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. Buckle up. There's football coming your way. All that and more coming up next. Next to the beautiful San Francisco Bay, 40 miles from where Candlestick Park once stood. We're at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara, California. Welcome to another entertaining matchup, folks. Kate Scott, Brock Heward on the call in this one. Brock, a couple of running backs down on the field. You can really take over their offenses when they get in the groove. And I think that's going to be the ultimate goal of both of these offenses, right? I mean, there's just no confusion about it. They want to get their bell cow in that groove and get them going. Find that rhythm where they're ripping off chunk yardage, run after run, and then just keep on feeding that beast. In a game like this, Whichever offense could get that rhythm and run game going first is likely going to be your winner. Jake Moody now ready to get this one started. And off we go in Santa Clara. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. So the Saints offense taking over for the first time here. Leading them out in year 11. He's played 15 or more games every season in the league. A real Iron Man, Derek Carr. Well, it was another very statistically productive season down in New Orleans for Derek Carr a season ago. Another 25 touchdowns, almost 4,000 yards. And what I love about this guy is he is remarkably durable. He's played 15 plus games all 10 seasons that he's been a starter in this league. That's called the ability of durability to be there for you guys. Now, the next step in New Orleans is to take this franchise to the playoffs. Taken in by Shaheen. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. So many times, Kate, when I see these receiver screens, I think punt return. It's like a punt return. On punt return, it's all about those blocks. The returner's got to catch it, and he's got to feel those blockers in front of him. It's no different on a big play like this with the wide receiver screen. Throwing his car. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. They'll run now on second down. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. They pick up one on the run. Need more, though. That takes him to third and five. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them... Well, they're just destined to end in a minimal game, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. From the gun on third down. Complete beyond the marker. And a solid gain there. Gets him across the 45 before he goes out. A seven-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Quick hitter complete. And they bring him down around the 34. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And third and short in your back pocket you and get even more aggressive and take that shot. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Running behind center with Kamara. And he'll get them enough for a first down. I don't know about you, Kate, but he sure made getting that first down look really easy. A lot easier than it's supposed to be for that defense. And I think they'll hear about it when they get to the sidelines. They've come out swinging to begin this contest as they've got it down to the 31. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. This finds Moreau. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. 
Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Second and three now. From the 24. We had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Well, no look on his first look of the game. And now they'll face a third and three. Timing is everything in life. And timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. Third down from the gun. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. They'll come up first and ten. From the red zone now. To the edge of the end zone, and it's incomplete. Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Throwing it again here. Into the hands of Olave. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. And the 49ers in a nickel set. Third down coming. Now Carr. This one's caught. And not quite a touchdown, but he's down to the four before going out. A nice gain of eight there, and that brings him to first and goal. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. One of the tight ends motioning right. They'll try and punch it in. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. You know, Kate, during draft season, I was talking to an NFL GM, and he said, you know what? In time, we're going to realize tackles for loss are just as big a deal as sacks. Sacks get so much of the popularity. Tackles for loss, when you knock that offense backwards, I promise you, in time, you'll be keeping a closer eye on plays like that one. Carr setting the throw. Got it. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. I feel so bad. I really do. And I don't mean this sarcastically, Kate. I feel bad for these guys in coverage. I don't know how you defend some of these players today. Because they get that drag route. They get one step inside of you. Well, there's very little you can do other than make the tackle. Shotgun now on third down. Too far out of the back of the end zone. It goes incomplete. There was almost no resistance offered against a rush that came off the line ready to maul anything in sight. It was all the QB could do to get rid of that before he gets absolutely clobbered. On fourth down, out comes the Saints field goal team and Blake Groupie. Only a 20-yarder here. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. Well, I know once that drive stalls out, that's where it really pays to have that reliable kicker on the sideline ready to bail you out. And he knocks that one right through to give him the lead. Here's Groupie on now to handle the kickoff. It's going to be taken in at the eight. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. 
So here come the 49ers now to take over for the first time. And bringing them out, you cannot call him irrelevant ever again. Took his team to the Super Bowl last year. It's Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy proved that his rookie year was no fluke. 31 touchdowns will do that. But what I loved was the efficiency, the rating. And not just me, it's what Kyle Shanahan and just listen to those 49ers teammates talk about Brock Purdy. Sure, he threw for almost 4,300 yards, but just at every turn on every stage, this guy delivers. In fact, he became the only the eighth quarterback to take a team to a Super Bowl in their second season in the history of this league. Can't wait to watch Brock Purdy continue to take more and more steps with this invaluable experience he's gained as a young player. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. You want to become a quarterback's best friend? Do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. New set of downs for him at the 38. They'll run here on first down. And his effort results in maybe two yards, but nothing more. That's a pretty good stop on first down. This defense now gets a chance to dictate, and that's what all the great defenses want to do, Kate. They want to dictate it on their terms and not just be reacting to what the offense is always doing. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. From the 41. He's got it. Room to run. And he goes out. Just needed one more step there to reach midfield rhythm you hear me talk about rhythm a lot whether it's a golf swing a baseball swing heck even a bowler gets himself into rhythm and I'm just telling you kid from experience these little throws to running backs it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little gain on top of it tight end reels in the shallow throw and that short gain is enough for a new set of downs you know Kate they say a dog is a man's best friend a tight end that moves the chains on third down that's a QB's best friend first and ten from a yard shy of midfield trying an inside give now with McCaffrey runs inside the 35 and they finally get to him at the 15 now after the run we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up into the red zone after that big pickup. It's first and 10 from the 15. Working inside the red zone. He's got it. And he's got it across the goal line for a touchdown. We've seen him do a lot more to reach the end zone on a catch, Brock. That one, that one was kind of fed right to him. Yeah, they say the running backs have a nose for the end zone. You know who else does? <laughs> Every skill guy out there yeah, because they want to put a touchdown on the board. Jake Moody on for the PAT. And the kick is good. And we're going to have some extra yardage added to the kickoff on the roughing call. A fortunate break for them as they get a gift with roughing the kicker. Their offense heading back out to keep things going. to kick it away. Here's Moody. And he opts not to bring this one out. So they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. 
This New Orleans offense ready up for its second drive of the contest. And their last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. First and ten now from the 30. Looking to throw. Carr. That's complete to the sideline. Not a ton of room, but he does get the feet down. Translatable skills. That's what you call it. So effective as a runner, but those same traits that make him a great runner, adept at getting those yards, well, he translates it now as a receiver in the open field. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 36. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get it up to the 44. He manages a gain of eight there. And the Saints are going to have a first down. I'm sure, Coach, a play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. Now they'll throw out of the gun. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Chance here for one final play before the end of the quarter. Second and ten now. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he's able to get it past midfield and down onto the 49er side. So before they can set up for another play, we've hit the end of the first quarter. Neither side separating much so far. Back to Levi Stadium right after this. We're back for the second quarter. Saints in possession of the football. They're looking down to third and three. Carr back to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. And he will score. It's a New Orleans touchdown. The Saints take a second quarter lead. Chris Olave with the touchdown. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Period, yeah. end of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. Blake Groupie to try the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Groupie on now to handle the kickoff. That's going to be taken in at the 8. Find some space. He's past the 30. And it's a nice return here. They'll tackle him shy of the 35. The 49ers headed back out on offense as we get another look at Brock Purdy. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. Ball at the 33 for first down. Purdy throwing here. That's 
taken in by Samuel. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. It's a 24-yard gash, and it gives them the first down. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. First down, he keeps it left on the option. And they take him down right along the 30. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. When they draw up these plays for the quarterback, these are the type of results they're expecting, Kate. Something that could tear a hole in the defense, move the chains, and just as importantly, and maybe most importantly, Put a seed of doubt and thought into that defensive mind that the QB can run at any time. On first down, they'll run. And they make the tackle at the 28-yard line. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. From the 28. He'll get this to Samuel. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. They send the tight end in motion. They'll try it right with McCaffrey. And he's brought down for a loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Going run again with McCaffrey. And they bring him to a stop, but this run gets him into the red zone, down to the 15. Pick up of seven yards on the play. That's going to bring up third and five. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. The Saints add a fifth defensive back here. Third down coming up. Here's Purdy to throw. Brought in by Jennings. And it's a touchdown. He made the catch and took it the rest of the way. The 49ers take a second quarter lead. So he finds his man in space, and then the wideout takes advantage. Nice finish there to take it in for six. Yeah, no question about it. We know points are always a premium in this league, and this really becomes a three to four point play. Right, when you don't have to settle for field goals, you could throw in underneath and your receivers do that much damage in the open field and score a touchdown, that's big time. On is Moody for the extra point. That one splits the uprights and they'll continue adding to their lead. to kick it away. Here's Moody. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Saints and Chris Olave ready to take over once again on offense. 
And they're coming off an excellent series throwing the football that led to that touchdown, Bronx. So you and I both expecting that defense to be looking for that on this series. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Here's a give inside to Camaro. And he won't win the race to the outside. That runs bottled up at the line. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. You know, Kate, over the years, I've heard running backs say, there's just times you've got to run in the darkness. And when linebackers fill that hole like that right in the middle of the field, he ran right into the darkness and the pain of that linebacker. Here's Carr. And the 49ers get there and take him down. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. It's looking like a dreaded three and out offensively. But listen, if you can't keep the quarterback clean and upright, you're going to need some magic, big time magic, to convert on this third and long. Niners countering with a fifth defensive back on this third down. Throwing his car. Fires over the middle. Caught. And he's going to be brought down up at the 28-yard line. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. Fourth down punt coming for the Saints as Lou Headley runs out to send it away. And the sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. The 49ers are headed back out on offense as we get a look at Christian McCaffrey. They have played lights out on offense. Scored their first two times out, Bronk. A chance to go three for three and grow that lead here. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. McCaffrey running between the tackles. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Back now. Pressure on its way. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. Here they come. This is third and five. They send him left out of the slot. From the gun on third down. He has the first over the middle. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. And that play goes for eight yards, and it keeps this drive moving. Move the chains! Got to move their chains! Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. New set of downs for him at the 38. Now they send their back in motion right. Now it's Purdy. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. You know, that was almost a nice chunk play before he was able to recover and provide the hit that dislodges the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays deep. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Still sticking with the passing game. Complete out to the right. And he has them a first down, which they will tackle on the other side of this two-minute warning. New set of downs for him from the 46. Purdy 
Kirby to throw it. Oh, he lost the football. But it looks like the 49ers were the first to it, and they make the recovery. Almost the impact play this defense was searching for, but they could only get half the job done, partner. Fumble forced, but they couldn't recover. I'll tell you what else it forces, though. That coordinator, that play caller on the other side, now got a little bit of doubt about his ball handlers. Got to have better ball security than that. Running back, motioning right. From the 40 on second down. He finds the open man there, complete. And they hold him down just a foot or two shy of the red zone. They'll get 18 yards there. And that's a 49er first down. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. They bring their tight end left. Play action on first down. Real in at the seven. That one goes for 15, and now they're going to have first and goal. It was such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle. They showed how great a deep out is as a chain-moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the route and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. He's got it. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. We get a timeout here taken by the 49ers. That's going to be their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Throwing it again here. And he will score. Touchdown, San Francisco. The 49ers grow their lead just before halftime. So, Rock, this offense looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. On is Moody for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. to kick it away. Here's Moody. Return coming from the six. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Saints are going to take over now near the end of the half. And down a couple of scores, Brock. They probably try to get this into field goal range to trim that lead before halftime. drive will start out with a first and ten. Now they send their back in motion right. Looking to throw. Carr. This finds Moreau. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Second and six coming up here. From the 29. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's going to go out of bounds. 
looks a little shorter than 35. There's no negatives ever on a great shoot for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're going to take a risk and throw an out route, you'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. Battle coming up on third and inches. Carr setting the throw. Nothing in the left side as it ends up incomplete. A good defensive play breaks that one up. And now they're left with fourth and short. You know, as a QB, I'm going to note that in the back of my head. That was a heck of a break. Knocks the ball away. DBs like that, they tend to once they get one hand on the ball, have a pretty good beat on you and can get two hands on it the next time. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. Fielded at the 26. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Nice kick there. It's a punt of 53 yards. And the offense ready to head back out onto the field. The 49ers find themselves in a great spot to start this drive. First and 10, coming up. Shotgun snap, they're going to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. San Francisco calls it second timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Purdy looking to throw. Finds his man on loop complete. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. Only time left for one more snap, Brock, so they're going to run out their field goal unit. This a 52-yard attempt from the left hash. Distance is good, but not the accuracy. He just missed it left. And the game stays at 11. That's a kick right there, Kate, that defies explanation and analysis. But at the very least, if you're going to try a field goal on an early down, you've got to make it. That's embarrassing. This is going to be the play that takes us to halftime. Throwing it just before halftime. He finds Johnson. So we're halfway through this contest from Santa Clara, California. The hometown 49ers out in front. Now it's time we checked in around the league. Here's Jonathan Coachman with the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, sit tight. We'll get back to you and Brock in just a moment. But for now, this is our halftime report. The Niners got a fine performance in the first half from one of their leaders, Brock Purdy. He threw a first quarter touchdown pass, then two more in the second quarter, a three touchdown half. And he may just be getting started. All right, thank you, coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The 49ers headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And he has to be happy about his game. We're checking some of the highlights right now that he's made so far. A good showing that's seen him in the zone from time to time. And also, he's just seen the field well from his spot in the middle of this offense. 
Hey, you're going to have time with a double-digit lead. Your number one objective, and they'll all say it in that locker room, it's 0-0 zero, zero to begin the second half. So you want to come out firing the same way you did in that first half. And that kick returner, he took matters in his own hands. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Now Purdy. Got a use check, and it's complete. And he's downed after getting this up to the 41. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for on first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Second and three now. Give. It's McCaffrey. And his short game gets the Manu set of downs. You know what I like about a second and short run play, Kate? Yeah, I like getting a first down, but you know what I like even more? That's going to set up a play action pass in a similar down and distance, and that defense is going to have to key on the run. From the 44 yard line now, first and 10. Here's Purdy to throw. Brings it in. And they're going to hold him down just shy of the 40. Give him 15 yards on the pickup there. And it brings up a San Francisco first down. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. First and 10 from the 41. Throwing with a blitz on the way. He'll get this to Samuel. And he's taken down at the 30. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end, finishing it, doing his job. Looking to throw, Purdy. That's taken in by Samuel. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. Second and one. This ball's cut by McCaffrey. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. When there's heat, that blitz coming off the snap, that QB's eyes, you could see it right away. He got to his check down in a hurry. But Kate, here's the key. Quarterback and running back have to be on the same page. The two were right there, and then netted some positive yards. Working inside the red zone. He brings it in. And he's going to be tackled, but still all the way down to the six. Boy, they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. And that slant, it goes for big yardage. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. Purdy throwing here. And he will score. It's a San Francisco touchdown. Well, this machine has been firing on all cylinders this game, partner. And it continues firing as that lead grows yet again. And those who've tried to get in the way of that machine you're talking about, namely the defense, well, they've paid the price over and over and over again. On is Moody for the extra point. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead.
out to kick it away. Here's Moody. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. The New Orleans offense set to go now. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Carr back to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Second and six coming up here. From the 31, he's got Shaheed. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Carr. He's got it, room to run. And he pushes this down to the 42 before going down. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains, there wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Head up, first and ten from the 42. Throwing it again here. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he gets it down to the 35 before stepping out. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm. But these outcuts, it is so imperative, and the best of them make it look oh so easy. Second and three now. They give to Camaro, left side. Room to run inside the 20. It's a 24-yard gash, and it gives them the first down. Those outside runs so critical for running back, quarterback, O-line to hit their targets. They got a target area to expose that defense and make the most of it. And that offense just put on display some teaching tape for it. Offense set for a first and ten. One of the tight ends motioning left. Another run for Camara. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. You want to see the term read and react with a little video in the football dictionary? That's it. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. They stay on the ground with Camaro. And he's got a nice game down inside the ten-yard line. They get about four there, need a little more than that now on third and six. You make that call to just give yourself a fighting chance on third down, Kate. Take at least a little bite of the big meal between them and the first down marker. And that, that should make this upcoming call a little less daunting. Card in the air now. It's caught. And he will score. It's a New Orleans touchdown. The Saints start the second half with some needed points. Chris Olave with the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. Groupie to try the point after. That one right down the middle. 
And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Here's Groupie on now to handle the kickoff. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. And he has continued to own this defense and keep on throwing that football partner, making this performance one that he's going to remember. Uh, but as you like to say, the defense will probably rather forget. They're out and set. First and ten. A give left side to McCaffrey. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. I talked to a bunch of different GMs, Kate, especially around draft time, and they all say the same thing. Linebackers are so hard to find. It's hard to transition from the college game that's in so much space to this game where you've got to play in a phone booth yet have that explosiveness to chase a play on the outside down like that linebacker just did. Second and 13. Into the hands of Kittle. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. They come to the line here. This is third and six. Back to throw. Here's Purdy. Complete beyond the marker. And they'll take him down at the 43 yard line. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre snap decision that led to a post snap first down. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Now it's Purdy. Throw wheeled in by Thomas. And they get this down to the 44 before he stopped. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. A touchdown aside in that frame as we run out of time in the third quarter. This one not out of reach quite yet, but it is a two-score game to begin the four. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. They'll motion a tight end left. They go play action on first. He's on the move. He's going to tuck it and run. He made something out of that play for them. Everyone's so concerned with defending the pass, they didn't quite keep tabs on what he was doing as a QB, and it gave him just enough room to run. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Throwing off the play fake here. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Well, Kate, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception, but it was good enough and a good enough break to break on the ball, get a finger on it, and foresee incompletion. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Purdy to throw it. He has the first over the middle. And they haul him down just a foot or two shy of the red zone. That play good for 17 and a first down. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine, because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. The 
They go play action here. He goes back to him yet again. Complete. And he finishes off the play by taking it in. Touchdown. The 49ers make it a three-possession game. Well, Brock, not much to say other than the fact that this offense on point, they are just clicking today. Just rolling. I mean, this, this is clinic. This is what I call teaching tape, being well-prepared, and more importantly, going out there and executing at a high level. On is Moody for the extra point. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. to kick it away. Here's Moody. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Here comes the Saints offense. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Carr setting the throw. This is complete to Olave. And he'll go down. It will say right at the 39-yard line. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. First down now. Ball at the 39-yard line. Motioning the tight end left. Here's Carr. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable. And creates space to take that shot downfield. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 48. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Hit arrived as the ball did to break things up. So it's going to be third and short coming up. As a defense, you got to see the pass. You got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well placed hit. Looking to throw on third and one. Camara's got it. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Hey, Kate, they don't rightly care who it's going to go to in that situation. All they really care about are the results on third down. And that's exactly the result they needed. Enough to keep this drive moving. Ball on the 45. First and 10. They are throwing it again. That's complete to Camara. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. They got 24 yards on the play. And the Saints are going to have a first down. You just got to love that angle, Rod. It's been around a long time, but think about it defensively, Kate. How many times do you see the backs out of the backfield or just run to the flat? The great running backs know how to plant their foot, sell that flat route, break it off to an angle, and break off the first down. They'll throw it again. This is reeled in by Camara. And they have this down to the 11 before being marked down. I know that completion doesn't move the chains, but I love it nonetheless. You make sure that defense is aware of every eligible player going out. And this time it was out of the backfield with the running back that shows he's adept at catching it as well. Down. 
down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. A gain of a lone yard, but Brock, that's all they needed. First down. That's certainly a spot where you could be more aggressive, Kate, if you wanted to take your shots. But some coaches, even the bolder ones, will take the safe play first when they get it from time to time. No third down required now. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Got it. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. Looking for a pass on second and short. And he will score. It's a New Orleans touchdown. The Saints take a small chunk off that lead. Chris Olave with the touchdown. His third through the air this game. You always tell me, Brock, it is a whole different world here, running routes, working in confined spaces, instead of having that whole field to spread out a defense. Oh, spot on, Caden. And some players, that's the world they thrive in, finding windows where windows shouldn't exist and then being ready for the throw to arrive. It happens so fast. Trusting your quarterback to make the right read and get it to you. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. They recognize the situation they're in now. After that score, they're going to try to get it right back. And the 49ers are able to cover the kick. Well, kind of feels like we're starting to get to that point, bro. And what point is that, Kate? You know, <laughs> the bold point of the game where you have to try something bold could end up becoming a play that finally sinks them, though. Yeah, it's time for desperation. Without a defensive stop here, it's really hard to lay out the scenarios for much success. Every second matters now when you don't come up with that onside kick. Football on that 47-yard line. First down. A run with McCaffrey. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you can be a pro bowler. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. They'll run it from the gun. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. I think this is the part where they run away, Kate. As in run away from that monster. He's just too strong a presence to try to block them inside. And that time, it cost him some yards. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. Purdy looking to throw. Brought in by Ayu. And give him six on the rod as that play takes us to the two-minute warning. Offense staying out there. It's fourth and one. Throwing with a blitz on the way. He's got it to his running back. And he'll get them enough for a first down. The Saints calling for a timeout. So they're first. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. Here's first and ten from the 34. Now a give. It's McCaffrey headed right. 
And he made the most of his running room on that one, getting it down to the 27. We have a timeout here. Second one taken by New Orleans. And they'll have just one left to burn now. Second and three now. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. Hand off on second and short. And just gets back to the line of scrimmage. The Saints call their third and final timeout. That's all they had, so the offense free to start running the clock down now. And the Saints go in nickel, third down. They stick with McCaffrey. And he gets this forward to the 19. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. He easily had the yardage for a first, but he was hungry for a lot more. I think that tackle prevented something that was going to be a lot bigger than just a first down pickup. They'll come up first and ten. And he takes a knee. There's still some time to bleed off the clock, but the important factor is that the defense is helpless to stop it. You could just run that clock down as far as you're able and take off every single second. Second down. Probably going to see him kneel it again here. And they'll kneel this one down. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. Well, Brock, I think we're both thinking another Neil likely coming here on third down. So the 49ers earn the win in this one. And it was a game for fans of high-scoring football, wasn't it? I know Brock was enjoying seeing both of these offenses work and really not a lot to dislike from either group. Just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other. That was the difference in the win. So for my partner Brock Heward and our entire crew, I'm Kate Scott saying this has been the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the 49ers, as we'll see you next time from Santa Clara.